Okay, now for the one major problem here I had with this, and it's no fault of Athern's other than these units are so tight inside there is really hardly any room at all to put in a plug-in type decoder and why they put such a long wire lead on this. I think their intention was to have the decoder land here. As you can see by the wire, but really there's not a decoder small enough to get in that spot. So I came up with a good idea of using a DASR decoder, which is great, except for the lights. And I'll, that's a long sob story, and I'll try to um, um, summarize it as best I can. Athern on their board uses a voltage regulator for the lights, which is very, very smart. Um, unfortunately for the DASR decoder, um, it is a 12 volt output, and as you know, these lights are a volt and a half. So I tried to do the old fashioned resistor way, um, which I'm very disappointed. I didn't realize this. Unfortunately, each light bulb, even though they're 1.5 five volts they draw not the same um, each so if in other words if you got two bulbs together one might draw a little bit more than the other and same with the resistors it's just such minute um, differences in the voltages I tried wiring them in series parallel and unfortunately this is what I end up with A dim light and a bright light, which I do not like. One of them is way too bright and it's going to burn out. So, what I did is I did some research and you can actually buy from DigiKey a small voltage regulator that's rated at 1.25 volts. So what I want to do is I want to take these boards which have built-in voltage regulators and it also has the output for ditch lights and I want to use those in my generation 1 Genesis units, the SD70Ms that I have that you gotta change the board out anyway and since this has all the ditch light capabilities of plugging in a North Coast decoder here I might as well use these boards and those and use DASRs in here that gives me more room in here and when I figure out how to do this voltage regulator um, then you won't have any problems with the light bulbs but in the meantime I'm just going to disconnect the lights for now till I get this figured out completely so anyway Athern did a great job on this I can't complain I just wished that they made it better to get a uh, decoder in here and like I said unfortunately the unit is very small and it's very tight inside so your best bet like I'm doing is just to put a DASR in and then if you can um, use a voltage regulator for the light bulbs or you could put LEDs in but the problem is to get bright ones you gotta get like three millimeters and you gotta turn each of them down and that's a I don't want to do that. I'll use the LEDs and something else. Especially um, if I can get these voltage regulators. And they're only like 50 cents a piece. And I'd only need two on this. So, there you go. When I'd be spending about $6 on LEDs. So, I like that idea better. I just haven't had time or the patience to work on it right now. But other than that, the unit runs really good. And that's why I bought the Atlas Mate, which we'll get into that in the next video. Anyway, thanks for looking.